these are my rock mosaics and the reason I created them was because there were so many artists that I photographed over a course of years. The Rolling Stones for over 25 years, the police from the beginning to the end of their career, and of course Bruce Springsteen for, uh, from 1972 to 1980. And I couldn't really pick one picture from my book that I just uh, released called Rock and Roll. And I thought about how I really wanted to share with people the range of images that I took. So I decided that I would scan over 2,000 photographs from contact sheets, which I made over the course of that time. And I would select one image that I would place all of these images into. And then I went into Photoshop and lightened and darkened various areas to really be able to bring out the detail in the single image. So in fact, they're very much made by hand through a grid system that was actually created by the artist Chuck Close. And uh, one of the things that I really enjoyed in the process of doing it is that for me, music, especially being a baby boomer, was very much associated with the artwork that you got with an album that was 12 by 12. And what one did when you got your album was you sat there and you poured through it looking for some secret in the photograph, looking for some message there. So I wanted to create another piece of art since particularly today's generation doesn't really have that experience of music when they can download and be able to go through it and find the little secrets that I put in there and also some of the images which weren't supposed to be released are privately hidden in there. So I hope you come to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and look for them or you can see them in my book, Rock and Roll, Lynn Goldsmith. Thanks.